It's Clark County Fair time. Don't miss the sounds of summer at summer's best party this August 2nd through 11th. Find exciting games, thrilling rides, and plenty of delicious sizzling food. Visit Bugology, our first ever brew fest, and catch the parades each Friday at 1. Check out monster trucks, tough trucks, and an all-new motorcycle race in the ERS Grandstand. Plus, the sounds of summer come alive with amazing music on two stages. And don't miss the animals, from diving dock dogs to cute cows and wiggly pigs. It's in wiggly pigs. It's wiggly pigs. It's wiggly pigs. It's Say hi to everybody. Hi. You want to go meet the sheriff? Uh -huh. You do. And Scotty Maples, the one, the guy that's running for sheriff. Maybe. What do you think? Fish just calling up. We go make, we'll make a visit. So we are at the uh, Clark County, Indiana Fairgrounds, and uh, we heard the sheriff have a booth here, and they are doing meet and greets with uh, the public. So we would like to uh, see if they want to take a picture with our child. Hey, can y'all help catch a loose pig? <laughs> the pig's got loose at the swine show. Oh, I don't want it. I don't know if I we can't catch it. I don't want any of that. That'd be trouble. He's, he went through here. Are you serious? Yeah, his name's Scotty. Um, ah, come on. That was a good one, right? Made it be in there. <laughs> Wow, these are neat, man. I don't think they're allowed to drive them on the road, though. Are they? Yeah, Clark County Sheriff symbol. Wow. Ain't got no keys in it. Oh, yeah? Hop on in there, buddy. Be careful, the seat's a little wet. That one's really wet. Watch out, the seat's wet. Yeah, like that's that. No, I'm not. No, stop. Well, don't get it on your butt.
Nice. Smile. Smile for the camera, buddy. I know. I wonder how fast these things go. Did you know this is your machine? When you get old enough to start paying taxes, you'll own this. You own all of them. They go 120 miles an hour. 120? Well, why that goes 120? Man, could you imagine this thing probably flip you over doing 120? Uh, big money. Look at them rims they got on it and everything. Wow, I'd like to have one of these. I wonder what it takes to bring one home, huh? Holy crap! Wow, that's cool, isn't it? That's all digital. That's 140. This one goes 140, huh? The front door. It does. It does 140. This thing right here might be Jamie's personal one. That's cool. Let's see what's in this building. Yeah, but no, no, don't, don't touch the handle. Lift me up. You got an assigned dispatch. Let me see. I'm just lift me up. Chris, lift me up. It's a nice truck. Huh? It's a nice truck. Don't get on the truck. Uh, don't touch it. You can look in it, buddy, but you can't touch it. I want to look in it, but I'm not cold. I know. Watch out for the mud. Let me up. Let me see. Well, hang on a minute. I got a cigarette going. Uh -uh. Huh? Uh -uh. Let me do. This is the swine barn. We're going to check it out. Look at that big old sucker. Are you okay? <laughs> the sheriff's department has them a cute little booth set up. So we're going to uh, go check that out, you know, because it is Sheriff Jamie Knowles booth, which uh, Scotty Maple's running for sheriff. He's supposed to be here saying hi and talk about how great he is and whatnot. So here we go. Riker, New on. Chapel EMS. They got a booth set up out here. There's a 911 emergency services. Yeah, this is very Clark County, isn't it? How you doing today, bud? Pretty good. How are you? Doing well. That was the fakest hello I've ever had. He's zigzagging. Are you zigzagging again? Zigzag walker. Hey, look, it's a. Uh, What's his name? Look, I got bubble gum. Go up there and get you some stuff. Huh? Hey Scotty, can you come get a picture with our kid? You don't want to take a picture with? Aren't you running for sheriff? Why won't you take a picture with the child? You got a game? What game are you not playing, bud? Do we want to take a picture with our kid? Damn, that's rough. You're supposed to be running for sheriff. You don't want to take a picture with the children. Scotty Maples. Guys, there's your upcoming sheriff. He likes to play games. Man, that was rude as could be, buddy. You are no sheriff material. There is no doubt. Hey, man. Why is he being so rude? Oh, he didn't want to take a picture with our kid. I mean, it's a public event, right? He doesn't, I know we don't have to, but that is just messed up, man. I mean, it's like discrimination, right? A little bit. A little discriminatory. Would he take a picture with somebody else's kid? I think he would. Probably take a picture with somebody else's kid. 
You'll have to find the bag to carry it in. That's a magnet. Put that on your refrigerator. All right? Thank you for being respectful to our kid. I appreciate that. Scotty needs to take a lesson out of y'all's book. What a piece of trash. He still got a ride to rides. We're gonna be holding all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. We're giving away bags right here somewhere. Yeah. Look at all that pencil. <laughs> That's the longest pencil I've ever seen. Oh, no. That'll last you all school year, won't it? If oh, he's allowed to use it. <laughs> Probably poke a kid's eye out. <laughs> oh, she's talking about the bracelet. Oh, I, I thought she was talking about that long about pencil. pencil. We already talked year. about what's going to happen with the pencil. Is that He'll probably have thinking? eraser marks on his forehead from trying to write on the desk. I'll let it break I'll let it break you want to get one? Of, can he have one of them little stars? Yep. Absolutely. You can have anything you he want. Wants. You want to wear a police star, buddy? Oh, you got one? Go ahead. Where? You can do it. I stuck it in here. Oh, okay. I think you need another hey, one. Hey, you go. Take yeah, another put that thing on, buddy. Can I put it on? Another one? Yeah, come here. You're watching my back, right? Make sure that Scotty guy don't attack me. Not right now. He saves all the stickers. All right, my friend. He puts them in a book. Oh, okay. Yeah, he puts them in a book. When's the sheriff coming? Don't know. No idea. I don't think I've met you. I'm Mary Sanchez. I'm the school resource officer. Hi, hey, I'm Chris. This is Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Nice to meet you, Miss Sanchez. We, uh, we do a lot of work in Clark County ourselves. We just want everybody to be on the same page and go do on it right. the same goals. All we want is people to do things legally, you know? <laughs> Calm That's down. it. You guys, come on can't, over. can't depend on Scotty you? Maples to do things you legally. Get that sugar rush going. That guy's a criminal Drop right there. <laughs> hey Scotty, I'm not playing your game anymore. Bye, buddy. No more, no more game playing. Guys, do not vote for Scotty Maples. He wanted to take a picture with a kid. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. What kind of guy does that running for sheriff? Won't take a picture with our kid, man. That was rude, discriminatory. Man, what do you think you're doing? Why are you give me that look? What is this look? Uh, you need to smile. If you're going to be on all them billboards and everything, you should learn how to smile. It's cute, buddy. It's cute. You won't take a picture with him, huh? Yeah. That's all I wanted. Go get your picture with Scotty Maples, buddy. Don't hurt him now. He's running for sheriff. It's okay. What's your tattoos of? Yeah, I'm working on it. Are you scared? No. Why not? He's running for sheriff, buddy. No? Okay. Yeah, I guess you scared him now, Scotty. Man. When's the sheriff going to be here, the real one? Is he? Cool. Where's he at? We'd like to go say hi to him. Maybe he'll be a little more cordial than you were. We'll see him. Tell him we'll come say hi. Walking away. <laughs> you want to go by and say thank you to them and then tell Scotty what you wanted to say? Thank you. Welcome. We can go through there and say hi to Scotty. Go through right here, buddy. Right here. Come on. Yeah. Scotty, he wanted to say something to you, man, for being rude. You hurt his feelings, buddy. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. Shouldn't be hurting little kids' feelings, asshole. Yes. What's that? What, well, asshole? He knows not to cuss. I teach him right. I can cuss if I want to, though. It's called freedom of speech. Man, he wouldn't take a picture with my kid. What a jerk. Look at all that money we spend on them toys. That thing does 140 mile an hour. Yes, yeah, one does 140.
Excuse me, man. Help! Excuse me. Officer. Pay no attention to public safety. Man, what's wrong with the police in this town? Boy, they are rude here. They're scared. Have y'all seen Jamie? A couple times. Where's he at? Have you seen him recently? No, not recently. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Hey, do you know if he's going to be over here with the emergency services or at the sheriff booth? I don't know. He's not around. Okay. Thanks, man. Not very friendly. Everybody paying attention to me. These guys can't quit looking at me. Just keep on looking back. Of course, Jamie Noel owns all that stuff, guys. He's got the contract on just about everything at this fair, except for the animals and the people, which he almost got a contract with the people, if you think about it, since he's under so much control. I mean, you can't even get hurt in this town without it being the responsibility of the sheriff. And I'm not talking about getting hurt through the law enforcement agency. I'm talking about you can't use emergency services in this town. So, you know, if the sheriff didn't like you, like you don't like me, and you need to call an ambulance, well, he might just call his people that he owns and say, no, don't send no ambulance to them. That would probably explain why that 911 call, I got turned down on for that 911 call, wouldn't you think? Yeah. Since he owns the emergency response, yeah. I mean, that's pretty bad. You know, he does something to get himself a lawsuit that he's responsible for, and then he turns around and starts causing damage and refusing people their emergency services, which is crazy, guys, that's crazy. So there, he owns this. Uh, this camper here for emergency services. It's a police, fire, EMS, hazmat, Indiana Department of, what does that say? Department of Homeland Security. So, what's this thing do, guys? This thing right here, what's that do? Is that a... It used to be a, a antenna mask, but it, it broke. Oh, is that all? I thought it was for, something for emergencies, like no, it's antenna, climbing antenna. buildings or something. No, like ham radio. Oh, I got you. I'm Chris. Gavin Hebner. Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice meet you. I'm just checking out the equipment, man. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, a little bit older model, but... My kid That's wants cool. to work his way into being in, involved with like emergency rescue and things like oh, that. Yeah. He was over here eyeballing your all stuff as yep. we went by. Yep. Oh, you got a security camera on that bad boy and everything, huh? We did. What, is it took it off of you? No. You it, need it. No, it hit, uh, hit on an overhang there. And then is that a backup? That's a backup camera there. Who wrecked it? <laughs> the guy before me. Oh, yeah. yeah? Are you the driver now? Yeah. You know better then because they already that. punished him, didn't yeah, they? Yeah. That's why you're driving, That's isn't it? Driving, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, man, these things are expensive. There's one on that side. Does it still work? Yeah, it still works. I'm a, I'm a huge promoter of having cameras on everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, protects people. And Everybody. It proves everybody's doing the right thing. It protects the people. It shows in the legal system what's up if something happens. Absolutely. And it's unnecessary, really. I mean, it's a great tool. No, it is. Unnecessary. A lot of people abuse it, but, you know, I think we need to use it more than we abuse it. You know what I mean? I agree. Have you seen Jamie Noll? We was wanting to get a picture with him. Not, I know he was here last night. Uh, oh, was he? I had to work all night last night. Yeah, we're wanting to get a picture with him with the kiddo. We went yeah. up there to try to get a picture with Scotty yeah. Maples, the guy that's running for sheriff. Right. And the dude said no to my kid. He wouldn't take a picture with him. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? And then he, I got a little upset with him. You know what I mean? I was like, why wouldn't you? Why would you treat my kid like that? It scared him. He come back and hit against me. And I was like, what's wrong? He said that guy told me no to get a picture. I said, that's Scotty Maples. So I walked over to him and was like, what are you doing? 
know, what's your problem? Why wouldn't you take a picture? He said, I'm not playing games with you. Oh. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Yeah. What an asshole. We better not elect him if he's going to behave like that to the public. But I know probably not a story you want to hear. <laughs> I know Jamie runs all this stuff, don't he? No, this is, this is all separate. Well, he's New Chapel. Yeah, he's New Chapel. We're, we're, we're for county. We're emergency management. And he don't have nothing to do with emergency management? No. You know, we all work together. We're all public safety. But this well, I'm talking about ownership. Like no, he, no. This is, it's, you know, the good. commissioners. And we, uh, we've got a group of us. There's probably eight or nine volunteers. Good. So, do disaster response, search yep. and rescue. Okay. Like that. And that's that. necessary when your sheriff is the only person responsible for everything. It's good to have a non-conflict of interest agency also available, you know what I mean? Yeah, we so. work good with, you know, law enforcement partners across the county, the fire departments, EMS, you know, we, yeah. we support them all. You know, right. community events, that's what we're out here for. So. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, but I'm talking about the actual services that it's required for, not right. just the events, you know what I'm right. saying, but actually being there as that agency for emergencies. You know, we need more than just one entity in charge of all of it right. you know I what get, i'm saying so like if he screwed up then you would be there you know what i'm saying because gotcha. you got to watch that because one bad supervisor if it's all collective one bad supervisor can screw up the whole deal for everybody you know that's why we're not a fan of him being in charge of the fire department the emergency response system you know what i'm saying it's just too much power you know what they say about that don't you what's that absolute power corrupts absolutely Meaning it doesn't matter what happens when you get too much control, like a monopoly. When you get too much control, it, it's, it's obviously going, even Thomas Jefferson said, it will corrupt. And he's right, because it does. When someone monopolizes, they end up overcharging and then they, you know, it becomes corrupt. Yeah. So that's what happens. And that's what we're concerned with, with the way Jamie's been running things. And that might be why Scotty took that on me, but. That's no reason, you know, somebody's political view shouldn't be any reason to treat their kid like crap. Right. Is there a beef or something in between? Well, I just don't agree with his politics. Oh, no, you know I what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not a big deal. There was, there was one. Well, they've caused us damages in the past, but it's nothing that has anything to do with my kid getting a picture taken right. at the sheriff booth. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it, they all did it except for him. You know what I mean? And he's the only one I've ever had a dispute with publicly. Like, I was on Facebook. You know what I mean? Oh, you were? On yeah. Facebook? And I mean, what's the big deal? You know what I'm saying? You probably speak your public mind yeah. you know i was just like i don't like the way he does things you know he's kind of a puppet for for noel and i was like we need somebody that's separate from noel the in there and that's basically been my opinion well it's just my opinion it's no it's not personal you know what i mean against the, the human being i think a lot of cops take things too personally you know what i'm saying like instead of just looking at it like this is my job this is what i'm gonna do they start being personal about it. Well, you hurt my feelings. Right. <laughs> I don't care about your feelings. <laughs> Not in politics. That's the one good thing about this is, you know, we're, we're uh, nonpartisan, so we have no politics. Just, Love it. Love we, it. We help all people. Right? Yes, sir. It doesn't matter, matter who it is. We're there to support everybody and community. That's it, so man. And so non-affiliation is exactly yeah. what I was talking That's about. What we love to do. We Can love I do a walk around, check yeah. the vehicle out? Yeah. I think it's cool. I want to get a video for the kiddo. Yeah. I got a camper. It's nowhere near as awesome as this, man. This thing is something else. I love the paint on it and everything. Yeah, that is nice. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, and leveling jacks. Hydraulic level jacks. Got the, yeah, it's hard to get them level yeah. on this kind of stuff. My camper's got the old-fashioned pump jacks. <laughs> yeah, this is neat, man. Yeah. Can I see inside the ambulance? Yeah, I mean, that's not mine. Uh, oh, well, so, I don't want to do that, then. Yeah, we might both get in trouble. <laughs> well, hey, it's nice to meet you, buddy. Nice yeah, man. Sorry, guys, say great going. Gavin, nice nice to meet you, Gavin. Chris, by the way, if you didn't remember. All right, how's it going? You too. Jamie Knowles. So if Jamie don't own the camper, that's good, guys. Jamie owns everything else, just not the camper and about eight other people. All kinds of good stuff happening out here today, guys. All kinds of good stuff. We got all the old tractors and all the old police. That's a state cop walking towards me right there. He got slowed way down at our vehicle when he went by.
call in the state police to watch their backs as if we're dangerous or something asking for a cop to take a picture for a running sheriff to take a picture with your kid is so dangerous guys such a dangerous event so dangerous you gotta call all the police in from the state and there they go it don't matter where I'm at guys they scatter every time they see me I wonder why I wonder why they scatter when they see me So yeah, pretty cool 4-H show though. Look at these old tractors, guys. These things are awesome. Well done. Putting these machines together. Uh, look at this big old John Deere, man. That thing is a beast, son. That'll get her done. Look at the lawnmower on that. The bush hog. Man, they're not very sharp, but that'll get the job done. The thing's about 12, 13 feet tall. The state police car come in here and park right after everything just happened back here with Maples and then they drove real slow past the back of our vehicle and then we had uh, some woman with the computer screen open in a Tesla well uh, electric Tesla and she was pulled in and parked next to the police officer but she was following us all over the parking lot when we very first got here nothing said or anything I mean obviously it's just like you know, these huge feelings from these guys. Their feelings are so huge. They're just scared to death and worried about anything public related. So, no public safety, no public safety. Hey, can y'all help catch a loose pig? <laughs> the pigs got loose at the swine show. Oh, I don't want. Okay, can it, I don't know. I don't we can't catch it. I don't want any of that. That'd be trouble. He's, <laughs> he went through here. Are you serious? Yeah, his name's Scotty. Um, ah, come on, that was a good one, right? You made it be in there. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to man. I had Have to. Day, did you see what he did? He refused to take a picture with my kid a little while ago. No, sir, Rude man. Sound like him, but... Not well. He doesn't like me, but it ain't. There he is, right there. It's a loose pig, guys. He got out of the cage. He's supposed to be over there doing tricks for the. Hey, tell your family we have free waters too. If you want to be out there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Need, We're gonna go get something to eat here in a few minutes and come back. I've got him in stamp, so. Yes, sir. No, Scotty just don't like my political point of view, and he's like a child. You know what I mean? We're just here with the sheriff's office. Make sure I hear you. Is Jamie time. around? I'll probably tell him about it. Uh, he's here somewhere. I don't know where at, though, sir. Okay. Yeah, we'll just keep swinging by until we've seen him. Okay. I'd like to get an autograph of him. Yes, sir. He's all famous on TV and stuff. Yes, sir. I told him you got loose from the swine show. They fell for it. <laughs> they went, went running looking for you. I just want to grab a quick video of this car, this Tesla. Look at that thing, guys. It's got Scotty Maples all over it. It's an FOP tag on there. Scotty Maples for Sheriff. That thing's sharp, though, huh? Wonder what our tax money's buying. This uh, second one we've seen. Last one had a computer in it one of the laptops and they were following us around the parking lot when we first got here since you're calling me a grandpa that's not very cool since i've been paying for all the rides and the food maybe, <laughs> what you, is that? maybe you should stop paying for all the rides and food or maybe you should just not call me grandpa grandma we got Jolly Rancher. You can have a Jolly Rancher. He's offering. 
Are you all judges? Are you all actually judges, or are you just? We, we are judges. And what? I'm Chris. Oh, that's Chris. Jeff Brainstetter. Mr. Brainstetter. Hi. Hey, Lisa Glickfield. Nice to meet you. Glickfield. I'm I'm Chris. This is Tiffany. Can I sit you too long? What up? You guys enjoying your evening? I hope. Oh yeah, we got him a stamp, so he's been riding the rides. We're pretty political. We're, we're highly involved in, in Clark County's political, and I'm recording because I wanted to. I make a YouTube channel, and what I do is I get to know all our political affiliates. I like to hear what you guys do and say and, and your community efforts and all that stuff, and I like to express them so that you're not limited to just the people here. You know what I mean? That way I can get you with the people here. I just want to make sure you're aware, as judges, we are very non-political. Right. We are required to be non-political. So. See, I like to hear that on here. That's great, and because... There is a lot of problems with that going on in, in the judicial system in, in a lot of the local counties. And we're hoping that our new list electoral people start veering back off of that. Like you just said, we want it to be neutral. We want our judges to be non-biased. And, 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 you know, we're, we're shooting to help with that the best we can.